Hey, I'm here just to, I don't know, inform people about what happened at court today. The other week, I got arrested. Police, you know, pushing their bullshit charges around here, trying to push us occupiers out of here. They tried to charge me trespass. They called it a trespass under the Enclosed Lands Act, which, as you can see, and I think you've seen in the tubes before, that, um, yeah, that it isn't enclosed. So anyway, we went to court today after, you know, it's been about four weeks. Yeah, about four weeks now since we've been to court. The DPP have been informed four weeks ago that we're pleading not guilty. Well, anyway, they've had four weeks to get it together. So we turn up and um, the DPP have, haven't even showed up at court, haven't even gotten a brief together. All they've done is uh, put in a notice of filing notice to quit. Well, again, you know, the police have done it again. They've arrested people under their own, what would you call it, abusive powers that they think they have, and uh, the courts are now seeing fit on our side. We've got to win. Um, we took the, my, my solicitors took the, the DPP to, um, back into the courtroom and, and asked for, uh, what would you call them, legal costs for them being there. And the judge granted it, which was a bonus to, you know, to ALS. For one thing, they at least they get a few bucks and maybe they might put it towards helping to look for, you know, a bit more people. But again, nevertheless, we got the win. Uh, they, the DPP had to pay out $680. Um, legal cost to them and uh, my next step is to go into a civil claim. I'm, I'm sure that um, if anyone out there that's in Sydney too, by the way, that is you know, interested in having a look at this case, because um, you know, under a pro bono basis, and I'm sure that you'll take your fee if you win and uh, if you're up for the go, come along and, and um, yeah, come down to Occupy and let yourself be known to the people here that you're willing to take this case on and, and let's go and get some money back out of them. Paybacks are a bitch. Yeah, that's about it really. I'm just going to record the details that I've spoken to you, okay? Yeah, no worries. Alright? Just wait there for me. What's happening, Garen? Hey. Wanna, wanna... Oh yeah, yeah, they're going to find out who I am in about 30 seconds anyway, so... Yeah, but, um, yeah, again, they've got you just for lying down. This is fucking pathetic. But I'm probably, you know, not worth touching. They're already, they're already in trouble with me already, so. I don't know. I want to take it any further. I'll take that as a heavy warning. I don't think that's going to go. I'm, I'm probably going to get booked here anyway, so. Yeah. Said I was it's un under the Local Government Act, even if you're sleeping under a sleeping I'm bag, sleeping. You, 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 sleeping. Okay, you could be laying sleeping. under it, as long as no. if you're oh, actually okay. in a sleeping bag, that's constituted as camping, well, and under it. the Local you're Government right. you could be laying on it, you could be under it, do you know what I mean, if you are, it's local uh, under the Local oh, Government Act, it's section 536, this, you know okay, it's failed to comply with the council signs that's erected. See the signs over here, it all says. So, well, no, they're not irrelevant because it's law. So, I could sue your face, I don't care what colour it is. It's an Aboriginal one. That's nice. I'm Australian. Yeah, well, I don't care that you're Aboriginal and you don't care that I'm Australian. So, let's just not worry about that. Let's not worry about that. You would be issued a ticket, okay? Yes. But your laws apply, or they don't. What's the date of birth, Darren? Never had. 14867. Never had, never ever will. Darren's your first name? That's what I told you. Double R-E-N or just R-Y-N? Whatever you call That's my name. Everyone knows Darren. Who was the last time you spoke to you by police, Darren? Have you been charged recently? Did you go into court today? What was that for? Was that for a charge? It doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Because it's not actually even registered. What's your last known address? Are you homeless at the moment or do you have an actual address? Do you have an actual address? Do you have like a postal address? Can you tell me what it is? The Rocks Police Station. What's your address? I'll give you my name. Darren, warning you right now, if you do not comply with my request, you may be arrested, okay? I need to confirm your details, okay? I need your address. What is this nomadic? And what's your address? 
Do you have a date? Of, do you have an address? Or I have you a date of birth. Yeah. Do you have a date of birth? What about an address? I've got an address. Can you tell me your address, Darren? What if it's an emotive man? I'm not talking. Is this really relevant that I give my address? I'll it give is. my date of birth. It is and very relevant. So I can actually write it on the infringement notice. My address is really irrelevant. You've got my date of birth and you've got my name. It's irrelevant where I live. It really is. Darren, if you're planning to fly the direction, you don't give your address to yourself. Okay, we need to have an address detail. Oh, Martin Place, how's that? That'll do for now. Martin Place. Is that the last one you go to police for Martin Place? No, it's not. Yeah, you do most of the time. It's true. Yeah. If you want to find him, I'm not failing to fly, but I just think my address is relevant. Well, you just write it down on the ticket. I just think it's irrelevant. We need to write on the ticket or we can't complain. Well, it's not irrelevant. I need to know who you are. Which one are you going to do? Are you going to mail or give it? Which way are you going to do it? Either way, when we fill out the infringement yeah, notice, there is a section that says address. It doesn't matter, Darren, you just listen to me. On the infringement notice, we need to fill in the part where it says address. Okay? Very simple. So all I need to know, obviously, what you've already given me is your name and date of birth, but I need to know your address. To you confirm who you are, believe it or not, there's probably more than one Darren Bloomfield in New South Wales. So trust me, people use details all the time. So we want to make sure we've got the right person. We could tag you to someone else, and you don't want to be tagged to the incorrect person, yeah? I don't know. Can you go away? You have no reason to be into this conversation. No, you're not under arrest, but you're, you're being infringed. Yes. Well, what do you do about all the mob that sit over there in the domain tomorrow on Saturday night? Are you well, I'm going to go and tell them? At the moment, at the moment, I'm dealing with what's happening right in front of me, so I'm dealing with you. They infringe you. How many tickets are you going to write out on Saturday night? How many? Are you going to go and write tickets out on Saturday night for people sitting on the ground on a blanket? That, my friend, constitute under your law camping. So you're going to have 100,000 people over there on Saturday night camping. Have you got a lot of papers to actually go and write that many tickets? Because under this law, what you're doing to me is exactly the same as what you should be doing to them. The sitting down on the ground on a blanket is constitute camping. I don't have any bail. What did you get? Did you go to court today in relation to bail or like a redetermination of bail? I'm checking, but I'd rather speak to you so you can tell me. I don't have to tell any more. I'm a free man. Okay, I just thought you were a grown man and you'd like to actually speak to me one on one so we can work this out. I'm a lot older than you anyway. Well, that's nice, but I'm treating you a bit of a sweet man. I'm trying to find out your bail. I don't have bail. Exactly. Do you have bail? No, I don't have bail. Well, we're just going to confirm on the system, okay? I'm going to get arrested again. We're just confirming. That's what he's talking about. Great. He said that you're not to be a hundred metres within reserve bail. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. Cool. Take, take me down the station, my boy. Let's just go to the station. I'm, I'm breaking the law, apparently. I'm a hundred metres within, within the, uh, yeah, yeah. the bank. Yeah, it's probably better oh, geez, than you I do. I've broken the law again. Oh, well, that's no. why you have bail conditions. You meant to well, adhere to the bail conditions. That's right. I if it says do not go within 100 metres of the bank, you should not go within 100 metres of the bank. I've broken the law, haven't I? If you have breached, if your yeah. bail conditions are current, then yes, you have. So we're confirming that now on the radio. Let's, let's just see how the information works. You, you might have to arrest me. Uh, if you, you are breaching might. it, you will be arrested. You just might have to arrest me. What was this section 75? That's what we're trying to find out. But he doesn't want to do any details, so we're trying to find out. Guys, you're going to come back at your 100 metres within reserve bank. You're not supposed to be. Arrest me. What are we doing wrong? Speak at once. If that's the case, if I'm within 100 metres of the reserve bank and I'm not allowed to do that, then please arrest me. Otherwise, go and arrest someone that's breaking some law. Darren, what did you actually go to court for today? Did they say anything in regards to your bail? I don't understand why you have to make it so difficult. Because why are you making We're trying my life to confirm you, you're trying about to give me a freaking infringement notice for sitting on the ground and you want me to be cooperative about you. I can't your, understand you guys want to I don't understand you, a bit you guys for sitting on the ground. You, can't one you are going to give me an infringement in notice and then you do you want well me to, to comply with, with your, your unreasonable request, by the way? Unreasonable. Why am I answering questions I don't have to? And you can't comply with a reasonable to? one. 
Why? Yeah, Why am I answering yeah, questions like I don't minutes. have to answer? I haven't broken any law. I don't think I have. Oh, Jesus, I broke bail. I forgot all about that. Okay, so what you're saying is you haven't, but you have. Oh, no, I haven't. Don't you worry Would about you it. Would you stop talking, bail. okay? I've Both of you just stop talking, okay? We're obviously getting nowhere. We're talking in circles. Circles are good. That's what Aboriginal people do. We talk in circles. <laughs> Forty thousand years, man. Hmm. Damn breaking bail. And then the English come yeah, in. Corroboree yeah. for sovereignty invasion day. Corroboree coming up. Twenty-six of January. Anniversary, long-standing protest side in living history. We're calling. Well, they reckon the Dalai Lama is, but he doesn't say it. Eh? He the sovereignty is never ceded. Never ceded. And, and under the international law, this is an illegal occupation That's in this country. Good, for almost three hundred years. British people coming in and erecting crazy structures, you know? The, the, the doctrine of Paranolius was overturned. No, that was overturned in 94 with the Wick decision. Yeah. But that's alright. So which means that this is an illegal occupation. Not this. Yeah, well, I But a straight, the British occupation is illegal. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Do you, um, do you want us to come down to the rock? Get, get Winnie real quick. Yeah, yeah get Winnie. And, and all the rest of it. Darren, yeah. you're just, like, just completing your identity, okay? Now yeah, you're sure. under arrest for breach of bail. Breach of bail. Alright, okay. remember that. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. I'd just like to say that I'm now being arrested for breach of bail, okay? So we all know I've breached bail. I was under the impression I don't think I thought, that repeated. I thought your anyway. matter was dismissed today. That's right, I thought, In go. court, I got told that you were just. Why am I just being arrested for breach of bail? I can't see the four cups in the court. There's no need to do You don't need to push him. Don't push him. The matter I got dismissed from court today. He actually come back today from court and told us the matter got dismissed. We just said there has been there has been a a a, a snafu in the paperwork. Can you away? There has been a there has been a situation. There, there has been a lapse in paperwork. So to be fair and walk away, if you continue to do this, you may be arrested for hinder police, okay? Okay. So to be fair and mate, just but walk away. There's been a lapse in paperwork. There's been a lapse in paperwork. And I, and I might get arrested for hindering police if I continue my correct legal right as a human being to disagree with what is happening right now.